I've added a few tips at the end of the video um, about uh, troubleshooting tips and also some recommendations for Windows users on how to uh, create a website or put the files on a publicly accessible website. So make sure you listen all the way through to the end, especially if you're having any issues. This video will show you how to create a comma-separated value file with the names of your students and import them into the Attendance app. The easiest way to create a plain text file on the Mac is to use TextEdit. It comes with your Mac, it's free. Go to the Format menu, make sure it says Now, change that to Make Plain Text, and here you can type in the names of your students. Only the first name is required. You can type in a last name, an email address, we can also put in extra email addresses and then a note. And then make sure you put a new line in and then you can save the file and make sure you save it. Um, the, the text encoding doesn't really matter and so I'll just save this as test.txt. Show you that. Um, I've created an, another one that I've saved here. We'll load it in. I saved that one as cs101.csv. As you can see, that has a few more names in it. Also, when you type in, you can type in the extra email addresses. You can separate those by spaces there. So each comma separates the name, the last name, the email address. Here we have the extra email addresses and then the note. And then again, only the first name is required. And you can type in the other information if you want. So once we've got that file saved in our sites directory, as we can see here, it's saved there. The other thing to check is to make sure that that file press the command I for get info, make sure that file is readable by everyone, so make sure that that is set. And then the other thing is to go to our system preferences, and you'll need to turn on web sharing, make sure that's checked. And then make a note of where it tells you the URL. So for my account, and then the sites folder there, and this is the IP address for my local network. So make note of that HTTP colon slash slash 192.168.1.102 slash tilde read. So to verify that it will work, we'll go into Safari, and I'll type in that URL up here, and we'll reload it to see that it loads. Make sure you see the names there as you've typed them in. If you get a message about it being forbidden, check that you've got the permissions set correctly on both the sites folder and on your um, file that you've saved so it's readable by everyone. Also, if you've upgraded your computer from earlier versions, it looks like with Leopard, depending on when, when you installed and when you've done an upgrade, um, you may have an issue with uh, having to set a file up. Um, Apple's made a uh, knowledge base article about it. Please follow this knowledge base article and we'll tell you how to set that up so that you can properly access those. So once you've verified that you can see the file here in Safari, we'll go to the Attendance app. And we'll just start it over again here. Start attendance. On the Add View tab, select Import Class from URL. I'll type in the class name I want to use. Down here, I will type the address there, 192.168.1.102 slash tilde dreed. Oops, got an extra character in there. Tilde dreed slash cs101.csv. Press the Load button. And now we see I've got the names. It imported them. It got the extra email addresses, got the regular email addresses. If we look at the note, there's the note it imported, and it imported all that information from that CSV file. The local web server you created will generally only be available via your local Wi-Fi network, so you'll need to make sure that you turn on your Wi-Fi instead of using the 3G or Edge cellular network. You can put your files on any publicly accessible website. This will allow you to access them via Wi-Fi or via the uh, 3G or Edge cellular network. The easiest way to create a website that you can put your files at if you don't already have one is to create a free Dropbox account at dropbox.com and then put the file in your public folder on it and then using the web interface there at dropbox.com get the link to your publicly accessible uh, file, your CSV file that you put in there. This will work for both Mac and Windows users. Another option for Windows users, uh, since it doesn't come with a free uh, web server, is to use the HTTP file server um, from regetto.com, R-E-J-E-T-T-O.com. There's a free uh, small web server you can download and install on your Windows machine, 
and use it to put the files on. And once again, they would then only be accessible probably via your uh, local Wi-Fi network.